hi guys welcome back to another tutorial it's a girl blessing and in this tutorial i'll be sharing with you how to make this beautiful overlap pleated skirt okay this skirt is just all about draping okay it's all about slash and spread rather okay so this is a basic skirt which i have drafted out already this is just a piece of paper to illustrate the making of this skirt okay so this is me marking out the zipper allowance for the back part of this skirt okay so this is our back piece and this is the front piece but we are going to be working basically on the front piece okay and to do this i already drafted the pattern out on fold i have a tutorial on how to make a basic or how to draft a basic skirt okay so i'll be linking that in the description box all right so i can know how we achieve this so now we are going to divide our front piece into two like this okay because it's just a part of it that we are going to be using for the overlap and the remaining parts we are going to also use for the right side of the skirt okay so after sharing into two, you determine how high you want your slits to be, okay? And I have marked it over there like this. So before we continue, for us to get the other part of the skirt, we are going to be having another piece of paper that we are going to use to do our slash and spread for the other half of the, of the skirt piece, okay? So this is basically me trying to draft out the other half of the skirt okay if you have your tracing wheel you can use that to cut it out okay so this is me marking out the dart just as we have on the main skirt piece okay so after that you can see they are equal everything is equal so that is going to be where we are going to be starting our Part, I mean the first part of the skirt okay we don't need this part okay so this other part is where we are going to be using for the one that will be on top of the skirt okay so that is how you get that part okay so after that we'll continue our drafting by making a curve okay we're not going to be using a straight line it's going to be a curve like this okay so we are going to cut that out. All right, you can see that our pattern is getting ready already. So this is how it's going to be. So the next thing we want to do now is to go ahead with our slash and spread. Okay. So the the dart line or the dart leg is already serving as the first line. We are going to be slashing. Then the remaining part we are going to cut them into two. Okay, because we have from the picture on the thumbnail you see that we have just three um pleats okay but you can as well add more this is just totally on your preference okay so for the other part of the skirt this is how we are going to be slashing it it's going to be a curve like this okay so after marking down the lines like this this is what we'll get so I'm going to go ahead and start with the first part of the skirt. For slash and spread, this method, you don't need to cut the paper completely, okay? Because the pleat did not get to the lower part of the skirt, okay? You just need the pleat on the waistline downward, okay? Not completely to the end of the skirt. So this is how we are going to open it and we are going to pin it down or use your masking tape to hold it down okay this is just another means of calling it um added fullness okay this is added fullness we are adding fullness to it and that fullness is what we are going to plate out that is the essence of the slash and spread i hope that makes sense okay so this is what we want to get out so we are going to go ahead and fold it okay you pick from the first line and fold to the next line pick from the next line and fold so that's how you keep folding until you have your pleats then you're going to cut out like so 
okay so this is our first part of the skirt which is ready all right so for the other part of the skirt we are going to go ahead and cut out but before that we are going to be closing our dart line like this okay we don't need the dart we are not going to be holding it so we'll just close it up okay so you're going to close it up and use your masking tape to hold it down all right so that you can go ahead with your cutting so this is how you are going to cut 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 you keep cutting all right so after cutting this is what we have okay the next thing i want to do now is to pick another piece of paper and place under the one we have just slashed then we are going to spread it on it so this is basically where the name is being coined as slash and spread you slash your paper open then you spread before you cut out to get your desired style okay so this is what we'll keep doing all right as much as you want the fullness is how you are going to open the paper that has been slashed okay so this is me just opening it up and holding it down with our paper so that we can cut it out just as we have it okay so you can see what i'm doing just to have a perfect opening okay so after that we can begin to pleat but before we pleat we just cut the paper so it can be easy you can see i have cut the pattern paper into two so that it can be easy for us to pleat so we'll keep pleating and holding it down with our pay our masking tape so that it doesn't open up okay because we need the pleat all right so this is what you have you can see our pleat is there and our pattern is back to how we had it initially okay so now we are going to be cutting out all the excesses that we don't need okay so you can see what we have so at this point when i was cutting i discovered that i cut some part of the pleat under the paper but that not to worry that did not would not affect the pattern we have okay so this is it exactly what we have so now we are going to remove all our paper our part i mean our masking tape that has been used to hold it down we're going to remove it and we'll put aside the paper that has been slashed you can see that place is open but good thing it does not affect our drape so this is what we have so i just want to transfer this back to the fabric okay you open it up and transfer to your fabric like so you pin it down just to make it stay in place okay then we'll go ahead and cut okay so now that you're cutting remember to have the half an inch allowance for sewing okay so this is what we have so guys if you have watched to this extent and you are yet to subscribe please do well to subscribe okay and if you are a returning subscriber i say thank you for coming back please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up when you are done watching make your comments okay so i discovered that this part has not been trimmed out to have the same size as the skirt that's what you are seeing me do okay so after that we'll go ahead to cut the other half the other side of the skirt okay while the pleat is open because we're going to pleat it back on the fabric so that is where this style is being achieved okay so now we'll go ahead and hold our paper together with the fabric you hold it 
just so you can have the exact part to be fold okay you see that is the part you are going to pleat all right so after pleating this is what we have okay this fabric is just to illustrate how it's going to look when you are done pleating okay so you continue to hold down after each pleat you pick the next part of the pleat together with the fabric you remove the paper from it then you hold down with your pin you go to the next pleat you hold down with the fabric the paper together with the fabric you push the paper aside then you pin down okay this is how you keep doing until you achieve the whole pleat that you have on the paper on the fabric okay so this is what we have achieved okay you can see how beautiful this is looking already all right so you plate 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 then you place the other part on it so this is basically how the picture you saw on the thumbnail was achieved okay i hope you have learned something in this video please don't forget to like don't forget to comment don't forget to engage in my videos you can also make your video request thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye